Good afternoon, my name is Craig Gorge and I'm an assistant professor in biomedical engineering at Purdue University. I'm here today to talk about our work developing an automated early detection device for preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is pregnancy induced hypertension and affects a lot of people around the world. So uh, it accounts for 2.18 billion in US healthcare uh, expenditures for the first 12 months after birth and approximately 13 million pregnancies per year are complicated by hypertension uh, which can lead to premature births and a lot of uh, big uh, important side effects for the mother that the clinicians have to worry about. So we're trying to develop uh, a tool that uses something called the supine presser test. Uh, it's available and uh, can identify risk for this condition uh, for about 90% of patients that have this disease. Uh, we want to make it automated and smart and intelligent so that it's available to anyone with a, a smartphone device uh, and specifically in, in low and middle income countries, but uh, as well as in the US uh, and other uh, developed world uh, countries. So the technology is first to develop uh, a device that transmits changes in blood pressure and specifically calculates predicted risk of uh, preeclampsia through the supine presser test with a blood pressure cuff, a position sensor, and a smartphone. Working together, we're able to identify the patient uh, body position. Uh, the cuff can measure blood pressure, both systolic and diastolic. And then with that, we can measure and, and calculate the supine presser test risk for preeclampsia. So this measurement of blood pressure and the difference between the two allows us to very scientifically estimate a woman's risk after the 20 weeks gestation uh, for developing preeclampsia. So a quick uh, legal landscape. We have uh, filed a provisional patent through the Office of Technology and Commercialization at Purdue, and we have no third party obligations. This work is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation as part of the, one of their wearable technologies challenges. And we're excited to connect with people interested in this technology.